two grown men have never seen The Simpsons. It's America's barley basket. It's one of those beds that's comfy, but I bet you pay for it the next day. Yeah? I am. My bottom is too close to the ground right now. <laughs> which... <laughs> Low bottom's fun and gay. It's all fun at night, but in the morning, you pay for a low bottom. You pay for bottom fun. Yeah, yeah you do. <laughs> you always do. You really do. The harsh light of day, all that bottom fun you had the night before. Mm-hmm. You got to cut that check. Yep. No the, one needs that. The bottom reaper always comes. Yeah. <laughs> the hotel room I'm in, I don't know if you've checked out yours yet. Is yours a handicap accessible shower? What does that mean? That means in my bathroom, there is a half inch high piece of half a garden hose, about half an inch high. That is the divider from outside shower, inside shower. Oh, like there's no tub to no step tub. over. Yep. Okay. Yep. It is very... What an insane way to describe that. Yeah. But okay. <laughs> it, uh, it is... Y- I don't y- think so. Y- I think I got a tub. I, I am. I step on that thing. It's going to flood. There, this is a hotel. I've never had a good drain in a hotel shower. <laughs> there is so much hair in that thing, I'm certain. So this is... <laughs> we are... I am going to be water worlding it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I brought flip flops. Come <laughs> spilling out of there like yeah. <laughs> splash. <laughs> well, goddamn, I need a dip. What am I gonna do? The body needs what the body needs. I need to shower before yeah. the show tonight. Oof, it's uh, troublesome. We are uh, these ripe. Sweat, these sweatpants. The things they've seen. The things they put. I up can't with. imagine the amount of times I've driven in these pants. Everything. The grundle. The. Oh, the, the, the lower grundle, the Ugh. subgrundle. Oh, subgrundle so is so terrible. Dank. Oh, I don't care for Usually it. Usually too damp, sometimes too dry, which might be more troublesome. Oh, nobody wants a dry grundle. Yeah. Oh, you, too, you don't. You don't want a <laughs> Boy, dry grundle. you got something wrong with you. <laughs> that is some end stage eczema or something. You got a dry crack grundle. Ugh, oh, man. Boy. Oh, my grundle's all chapped. Yeah, someone apply my ointments. <laughs> Should you be a deer and apply my grundle ointments? <laughs> I need some of that fancy beeswax chapstick for my grundle. <laughs> Holy shit, asking the guy at the counter at a fucking Dollar General. (laughs) Hey, man. (laughs) I literally can't reach it. You got any grundle creams? (laughs) Yikes. I have $14. That's all I got. (laughs) You can do me the solid. You know, they'll let you buy more than one pair of sweatpants. Yeah, yeah, but then it's, you know. I want this pair to know it's a number one. This, this pair knows. It's like Cal Ripken Jr. There's no days off. It's ready. I mean, Kevin them get soft. They get entitled if you get more. Time. Those sweatpants haven't been soft in yeah. months. <laughs> Too soft. <laughs> Those sweatpants are <laughs> flaking. <laughs> they, it's the, they usually molt in the springs. So. They, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's losing its winter coat. <laughs> like parrots. Yeah. <laughs> Sheds its skin like yeah. a snake. <laughs> Just me shaking off the sweatpants skin in a Casey's General. <laughs> I didn't get the vacuum. I got fucking sweatpant dandruff all over this floor. Swandruff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I do got another pair, but they just... You, you get a good pair of sweats or basketball shorts, a substandard pair just doesn't cut it. I don't know that I've ever had a good pair of sweatpants. Really? I Oh, man, what'd you get one? These aren't it either. They got the crimped legs, whatever those are called, cuffed legs. Oh, yeah, those are no good. Yeah, they ride up my cankles. You need joggers. Yeah. Joggers don't mm-hmm. have the, yeah. the banded legs. Got their joggers at home, but they're too thick of a fabric. I want sweatpants that at all times I could get an indecent exposure charge. Like so thin, little to the imagination. You want ankle length basketball shorts. That, that's exactly it. You fucking nailed it. That is exactly what I want. Provide that for us, somebody. Somewhere out there. How has no one heard these cries? These cries of anguish. I saw something that giant basketball shorts back in style. Good. Yeah. Like with like hipsters. What a, what a, okay. God, uh, we live in amazing times. They're always leading the charge, yeah, those which, hipsters. God bless them. What's next? Maybe like FUBU could come back? I think Jinkos are mildly yep, back. Yeah, like, they have By all back. means, get, I want a navy blue leather FUBU jersey. There we go. Oh, man, you need to make that dream a reality. Mm-hmm. 
Is that just an around the house thing? Or are you loud and proud in that? Oh, that that's tucked into the jeans and going out <laughs> for the day. <laughs> Tight jeans, tucked in leather FUBU jersey, bloused out. Of course, I got a blouse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can't keep that tight. Yeah, I don't yeah. need to show people how high my jeans are hitched. Yeah. <laughs> Leave Sutton to the imagination. Yeah. <laughs> Where's his navel? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> got him hiked up like Papio Daniel. Yeah. No brother art, though. <laughs> <laughs> Marlon Wells is a, for, a forgive and forget Christian. <laughs> <laughs> These boys done with their transgressions. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on with your pants? <laughs> His pants in that movie are wild. They're so ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> What is the, how, how do you shop for that? And, and like he's wearing suspenders, so they're only like six inches <laughs> yeah. up to his shoulder. His suspenders are nine inches long. Like you could just do without them. Yeah. <laughs> Where else am I going to tuck my tits? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, when you're tucking titties into your pants, boy, you are, <laughs> you're either out of your mind or so far ahead of the curve. <laughs> Living in 3024. Yeah. <laughs> Just tuck them big old Abdul the Butcher flappers down in there. <laughs> Holy shit, tucking, wearing your pants that high, but having your Abdullah titties hanging out. Oh, boy. Jesus, that, would be, that would be jarring. Oh, my God. <laughs> to anyone that's not familiar with Abdullah the Butcher, he had outrageous side titty meat. Yeah. Like, I don't even know what you would describe that as. I... As a husky fellow, I'm grabbing mine right now. It, <laughs> it exists. I am not proud mm-hmm. of the fact, but it is in the pupa stage compared to <laughs> Abdul the Butcher. I bet if you, from base to bottom, six in 12, eight, a I, lot of hanging I could side not venture titty. to guess, yeah. but. Titty wings. His, I don't know what the medical term would be. All like. of his body was moving downhill at all <laughs> <Yeah>. times. <laughs> he was always kind of melting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Goddamn, dude wrestled for six different decades. Mm-hmm. Wrestled in quotes. Stabbed a bunch of people <laughs> with a fork. A, he gave the hep to a lot of people. He sure did. One yeah. for sure. One yeah. confirmed. <laughs> Oh, man. He did a lot of big elbow drops. Mm. Jay's, I bet it took a while to get off the ground those later years. Holy Them moly. big Aladdin pants, those yeah. big puffy pants. With the curly Q toes yeah. on the boots. Yeah. He, that's something that's gone. It's a look. Yeah. Some brave soul needs to bring back the curly Q boot. <laughs> Iron Sheik, a big So, fan Fubu of, jerseys and curly, curly Q, Q boots. elf yeah. boots. Yeah. So that's what you want? Genie boots? <laughs> What are you having? Go to fucking boot barn and ask what they have in genie boots. Holy moly. <laughs> like we said last week, go to boot barn and get anyone to help you. Yeah. It's not real. <laughs> well, you know, Mexican or is it Argentinian cowboys? They like the cowboy boot that has the big curled up toe because mm. they get like it's who can get the longest one. So those guys have cowboy boots where the toe is 10 inches long. None of it's touching the ground. <laughs> Are you familiar with what I'm talking yes, about? Yes, I can yeah. imagine what you're talking they about. They look like elf boots. Yeah, yeah, they look like a neglected horse who yeah. hasn't had his feet trimmed. <laughs> that in is long. what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Holy. It hasn't been for months now, but there was a time every one of my social media feeds was animals getting their hooves fixed. <laughs> There's something about that. I would just find it soothing. Like, you watched one, and then yeah. it just fed you that. And I watched the whole fucking thing. Yeah, of course so, you did. Yeah. yeah. Like, how are they going to fix these hooves? <laughs> <laughs> Look how goofed up these hooves are. They certainly can't fix that. This hooves. one's got a drywall nail in it. <laughs> how will they work around that? Oh, no. <laughs> this poor cow. <laughs> no, it's going to feel so good when yeah. they fix it, though. Oh, he's cleaning it out now. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hey, come check this out. (laughs) It's amazing the places your algorithm will take you. My TikTok algorithm decided last week that all I want to see are antique cigarette lighters. Holy shit. (laughs) I watched, to be fair, I watched a bunch of them. Antique (laughs) cigarette lighters were fun. Back before we decided on the Bic model of, I don't know, just open it and turn a thing and now you got fire. They were wiling out before. Oh, shit. Like, oh, you take this you pull this stick out of the bottom like a stylus out of a phone and then you you put it in the top and give her a swizzle and pull it out and now the stick's on fire and it's like no what shit. is happening right uh, now uh, 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 uh. 
yeah, if we, you're if you're looking for a new hole to fall in, might I suggest antique cigarette lighters? <laughs> Or yeah. some super utilitarian ones like this one was for the boys in the trenches in yeah. the in in the Great War, and it's just <laughs> like I don't know, it looks like a Carmex <laughs> jar that you just you just turn and fire comes out, like huh. just meant to be simple yeah. with no moving parts. Huh? God, what is the last time you saw someone use a a Zippo lighter in public? To light a cigarette? Yeah. Uh, fucking Jesus. years. Yeah, there was a time. God, I used to think Zippos were cool, but I always thought there was we kind, all of, did. kind of a stigma about them. Kind of dorky. A little dorky. A little dorky. It's like, oh, boy. Especially if you're doing tricks, yeah, you know. Oh, boy. Yeah, if I you don't... knew Zippo tricks, yeah. you are single now. <laughs> you, are, yeah. you are still single yeah. now. Oh, boy. Doing the tricks in the mirror. Yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. You don't want that. <laughs> Zippo kids and butterfly knife kids can yep. be friends. And I owned a butterfly knife. I couldn't have both. I definitely have owned a few Zippos mm-hmm. in my time, thinking like, oh, I'm going to be the Zippo guy and buy your little <laughs> bottle of fluid. And then like, no, as soon as you fill it, it stinks. Your hands reek oh, like really? fuel. Yeah. Like, no, uh, what are we I... doing? And now, like, I didn't wipe it off good enough, so I put it in my pocket. Now my pants just smell like gas. Like, <laughs> No. Holy fuck, you got a wall with your Zippo collection on it in your house? Oh, boy. You, you do not often feel the caress of a woman's touch. <laughs> Holy moly. Look at this nice embossed Jack Daniels yeah. one. <laughs> oh, man, that exists. Oh, I totally. Bet one out a year. I bet yeah. there are no less than 400 <laughs> styles of Jack Daniels yeah. Zippo. <laughs> Holy shit, yeah. I love people that just, un- they like what they like and yep. they don't give a shit. Yep. Here's this wall of this corny ass thing. I get it. I, I had a friend that was really into Spawn, mm-hmm. was still collecting Spawn figurines, yep. still got the monthly comic like <laughs> 18 years in. Like, like he said, I think he said he started in like 96 and he's been getting it ever since. Nice. And good he, good on him. He's got like seven kids. Has kids <laughs> playing college football. He's at home reading the Spawn comics. <laughs> Let's what, see what Todd McFarlane has for me today. Yep, exactly. If he gets a tattoo, it's Spawn related. Amazing. Yep, what a, that is a good dude, dude. Motherfucker loves Spawn. How many times has he bought the movie over the years? Oh, my God. Oh, on every format. VHS, yep. DVD, Blu-ray. <laughs> he might have. I gotta, I HD wonder, DVD. He would make his day if you gave, gave him the laser disc of Spawn <laughs> so he could hang it on the wall. Might have been a little late for laser disc. Yeah, yeah, maybe. He uh, was a big proponent of the mid 90s HBO animated Spawn. Okay. Because yeah, I think a lot of dorks dork out about that. Because <laughs> like, I think it was kind of a little ahead of its time. I saw a couple episodes. I had a buddy with a satellite dish. I saw it before, but it didn't do a whole lot for me. But like. Who the f- like? Is, who is the John Leguizamo's the fat little impish thing? Mm-hmm. Is any actor of note play Spawn in the movie? I don't know. It's been too long. I don't if remember. Martin Short, not Martin Short. Holy shit! That holy movie be amazing. Holy moly! If Martin Short was the bad guy, the clown. Martin Sheen is like the the boss of whatever Spawn was in real life. Okay. That, like, fucked him over. You so. could tell me anything about Spawn. I'm and shocked I... you never had a Spawn dalliance in your life. No, nope, it missed me. No the, shit. That 90s cornball, hard-edged comic books yeah. missed me. No, you pretended to be Ghost Rider in the backyard nope, at the nope, farm. Nope, Swinging a chain <laughs> over your head. Too busy playing with my wrestling dummy. <laughs> No, none of that. All, comic books, for the most part, missed me in my youth. Interesting. Like, occasionally you'd go to Bismarck and the grocery store sold a smattering of yeah, them. Yeah. You could get, like, an X-Men or most of most of my comic book collection that I still have is, like, Hanna-Barbera and Cartoon Network yeah. and Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, yeah, those yeah. types of comics. It's tough to really get into comics just buying one here or there. Yeah. Because, you know, it's it's a series. Yeah, you, know, you like, don't get a, a story yeah. at all. There's the occasional good one-off, but it's pretty rare. Yeah. Holy fuck, I am shocked that you never went through, like, an anti-hero, like, you're the right <laughs> age for <laughs> it, you know? I am. You fucking running around with a fucking pellet gun pretending to be Punisher. Right. <laughs> 
I like the rural mail carrier a drug lord. <laughs> Cutting sleeves off my hoodie like Scarlet Spider. <laughs> How fucking off-putting would it be if you're delivering mail and a 13-year-old boy was always in the distance watching you with a pellet gun? <laughs> I'm motherfucker wearing a black leotard. <laughs> <laughs> the big white gloves yeah. and boots. <laughs> Before Punisher got all tactical yeah. looking. <laughs> you just trucking through some alfalfa gas. <laughs> <laughs> He's long gone. Yeah. <laughs> you got a walkie talkie. You got your mom on the other end. You, mom, your name's Micro. <laughs> you get the intel. <laughs> the intel is we're having dinner at five. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I guess the punishing can wait till tomorrow. <laughs> it's not vengeance, it's punishment. <laughs> just fat, just yeah. run into the house. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> he sure is jolly for a punisher. Beefaroni, beefaroni, beefaroni. <laughs> Kicking your feet while you're eating. <laughs> pop, pop, pop of that pellet gun up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> my wife and kids were murdered by the mob sure they were huh? okay they sure why were. don't you go get it washed you, up you eat your beefaroni <laughs> <laughs> beefaroni beefaroni <laughs> eating with two forks <laughs> honey <laughs> so much easier <laughs> nope <laughs> holy shit <laughs> What a life. What well, a it's a yeah. life, all right. It is a life. Welcome, by the way, to America's nice. Barley Basket, episode 199. Oh, we're almost there. Look at us. What celebrity guests will we have next week? Mm, you'll Who have knows? to tune in to find yes. out. There'll be a lot of laughs, a lot of tears. All the stars will be here. Yeah. <laughs> America's Barley Basket Orchestra will play us in and out. <laughs> <laughs> we're hosting a telethon. <laughs> Not for a charity, just for us. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> for gas money. Yeah. We'd really appreciate your Operators help. are standing by. <laughs> Holy shit. Like so for some eccentric millionaire to have or billionaire to have a fundraiser that still like only allows you have to call in. Like, yeah. Okay, we're gonna give you an address to send a check. Send a I'm fucking sorry. Check. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing we'll accept. Or money orders. You can just put a QR code <laughs> yeah. on the screen. <laughs> Never. Nope. <laughs> Never. <laughs> How much money does he think he's going to raise? Not much. (laughs) He is very weird. If you include a self-addressed stamped envelope, I'll send you back a receipt. (laughs) You as a kid ever send something to a famous person hoping to get it autographed? No, I don't think so. No, no, never an athlete or anything? Well, you were never a baseball card kid. No. Yeah. I sent a... I sent a question to Beekman's World. Did you really? <laughs> yeah, because they were always like listener, yeah, like viewer right. questions. Yeah. Like Timmy in Ontario wants to know what lightning is. <laughs> there was never a Marlin from from Carson. No, I did get a like a form letter back no though. Shit. Of like <laughs> we'll we'll try to get to it, but please understand that we yeah. get a lot of these, so we can't get to all of them. But thank you so much for watching the show, and it was signed by the three of them: the lady and the rat and and Beekman. <laughs> Do you, th- do you think you watched every one of them? No, probably not. Oh, God, wouldn't that be amazing? So maybe. <laughs> Come back to later in life. And know the, well, do you remember what the question was? I wanted to know how batteries worked. Oh, really? <laughs> because I was, like, baffled of, yeah. like, how did the, <laughs> why is that, what do you mean there's electricity yeah. in this? <laughs> like, just holding a double A. Yeah, uh, it is wild. Yeah. yeah. It's a good question. <laughs> the fact that, that you could just buy 20 of them for 10 bucks. Yeah. Just these little cylinders that could power shit. Mm-hmm. Like, they would have thought you were a god in the 1500s, <laughs> you know? Like, you'd be Pope. Mm-hmm. You know? like, yeah. Because you have the magic cylinders. Yeah. <laughs> No, <laughs> now you just buy them at the fucking drugstore. <laughs> you're you're like bummed when they run out, like yeah. piece of shit. Yeah, and throw it in the garbage. Dumb. <laughs> Using them to power your butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> All of this technology, it's going up your ass. Because heaven forbid a solid state one doesn't do the job. It's got a fucking shake. <laughs> That's where you're at. <laughs> You can't just shove a doorknob up your ass. It's got to dance around. (laughs) Boy. (laughs) 
<laughs> you can really shame people out of a sex toy purchase. Because you, you lay it out like that, that is wild. Nope, that's not enough. Having a plum shoved up your ass. Nope. Nope, not enough. It's got to do a jig for you. That's how far gone you are. <laughs> <laughs> Holy it's gonna fuck. fucking play the backbeat to my Sharona. <laughs> Get any reaction out of you. <laughs> 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 You're ripping the package and open in the in a fucking strip mall parking lot, <laughs> reading the instructions. <laughs> Should be the worst day of your life, but no, but it's just another Tuesday. <laughs> Do I wait till I'm home? Yeah, you should. <laughs> yeah, you probably should. Holy fuck! Watching someone put in that butt plug in a parking lot. <laughs> Give just a quick tertiary yeah. glance around. Yeah. Got to scoot up and then, Jesus, Just. a very tense sit down. <laughs> And a little little impish grin. Let me just bird dog this softball <laughs> and turn it on. Yeah. Brrr, Got there it. we go. Okay. Find it on my Bluetooth connections. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then you're fucking mad that that's taking too yeah. long. Like, come on, <laughs> piece of shit. You're gonna go to Costco still. <laughs> <laughs> can't do that if it's not shaking can't, me up. <laughs> can't, can't shop for toilet paper and paper towels unless I got the shit. Rivers. <laughs> what a thing. You just noticed the guy next to you. <laughs> ass. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're in the cooler section deciding which type of yogurt you need to take yeah. home. And you just hear mm, just real yeah. faintly. You're, you're, in the ca- that? you're in the cafe area eating one of those buck 50 hot dogs. <laughs> you hear it start hitting against those metal <laughs> picnic tables. Yeah. God, that sound would care. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to go home. That thing's making a break for it. <laughs> Some woman grabbing both ends of the table. <laughs> Just going to ride out the first wave. <laughs> this, to me, this was a skinny 54-year-old man. Yeah, in my head, it was too. He's bald, <laughs> yeah. huge Adam's yeah. apple, which means huge crank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> I don't like how far away it has to be. If my, if my phone's more than ten feet away, it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm gonna have Deborah install it on her phone too. <laughs> you tell it all this to the kid at fucking Kohl's. You're trying to return your Amazon butt plug. Dude. <laughs> hey man, I just scan a code. <laughs> like I don't. <laughs> I don't need the story, brother. Except for your therapist. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what Adam and Eve's return policy is. Oh boy, <laughs> well, there's some traumatic judgment calls. I bet there made. isn't one. You wouldn't think, no. right? Right? Yeah. I How? mean, a physical sex shop, there's no returns because I mean, that's why they break it open and make sure it works because you can't bring it back. Oh, interesting. Okay. I bet. I've heard. If it's only, if it's in the packaging, maybe then? Maybe if it's in the packaging because yeah. that would allow for, hey, you sent the wrong one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, yeah. I asked for the triple XL yeah. Kong Dong. <laughs> This is just the one X. What am I, an amateur? One of the pie ball design. (laughs) (laughs) Solid state. (laughs) This is clearly Jaguar print, and I asked for leopard. (laughs) So if you wouldn't mind. You can understand why I'm here today. (laughs) It's the wrong fake animal print on my bottom toy. (laughs) And, you know, I spend a decent amount of money, so I want something I really want. <laughs> Surely you get it. <laughs> this kid at Coles is 17. Yeah, just some checked out goth girl. Hasn't heard a word you're saying. Has fucking ear pods in. <laughs> She's reaching past you to help the person behind you. <laughs> This happens a lot. Your interaction is already over. Yeah, yeah you just haven't accepted it yet. <laughs> it is something how... I'm sure you get into big enough cities, there's still gross slime ball sex shops, but it's something how everyone that has survived has made that transition to mm-hmm. like, hey, we're for ladies. We're, we're fun. And fun for couples. Yeah, yep. like, 
And it makes so much sense because women will go in there in groups and yeah. have fun and look at Oh, you. look at this, the you know, old, and probably buy something. Old school sex shops, sad, desperate, alone. And man. terrifying. Yeah, right. You know? <laughs> One in five fluorescent light tubes is functioning. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's sticky. <laughs> Sounds like someone's getting German suplexed in the jerk off booth. <laughs> <laughs> the one guy working there is 450 pounds wearing nothing but denim overalls. Or a checked out goth girl. Or a checked yeah. out goth girl, also. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, there are a lot of big, big beefers out there, too. <laughs> she also works at Kohl's. It's the yeah. same girl. <laughs> Lied about her age to get this gig because it pays better on the weekends. Fucking Minot, North Dakota sex shop up until the late 90s still had jerk-off booths. Jeepers. And still had middle-aged gay men cruising them. That's got to be a thing of the past at this point, right? You still I, got a fucking tugger booth back there? I know ABC Bookstore, which has now moved. For sure. Was the Romantics. Yeah. They, they had them into the 2000s. Man. They, and theirs was fucking, it was the law of the jungle down there. <laughs> 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 There's always a bigger fish. Yeah. <laughs> Hope he don't come and knock it. <laughs> How's the movie in there? <laughs> <laughs> Shoving his hand under the door like a little kid when their mom's taking a piss. <laughs> like a cat. What are you doing? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Holy shit, what a terrifying thing to have. <laughs> or even if you're using the bathroom normally, you're just taking a shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. What's going on in there? <laughs> Room for another? Yeah. And then a viciously violent shoulder block to the Boom. door yep. right back to hey there <laughs> <laughs> in my mind that's how the altercation at the jerk off booth went you're in there watching a, a movie film yeah. and you just get hello and then you don't say anything yeah, <laughs> it gets real violent. So much as mule kick on his door. It's boom. It's particle board. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, he's in the store. He on the other side of the door is the store. <laughs> Doesn't give a shit. No one cares. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Just a big wall of dirty magazines. That seems so antiquated. All right. Now. Doesn't that like, seem ancient? Right. Yeah. It's like. Jeez, I remember the sex shop in Minot had porn that was so cheap it was on newsprint. Cool like, boy. Good God. Those people looked like they didn't realize they were being in in porn. Mm. Like this is if this isn't illegal, it should be f strongly frowned mm, upon. Someone needs to investigate yeah. this. <laughs> no this is smiling. an industry that cannot police itself. Yeah, that is very true. <laughs> they can't just leave it up to them. Nope. Because <laughs> them are bad people. Uh-huh. <laughs> Holy shit. The kind hearted pornographer. <laughs> Just sponsoring little league baseball teams. <laughs> the kind hearted pornographer sounds like a Daniel Steele novel. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a, a colorful way to say dancing butt plug. That's the fucking Little, little League team logo. <laughs> 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 well, Nathan, I know you're. I know you're wondering. I know you're on the edge of your seat. Mm -hmm. Of did I do my homework from last week? Oh, did you know? I did. Oh, how was that for you? I ate a KFC pizza in my car. Did you really? I did. In I said I would even. in the car. That's not your style. While driving, oh. that is my style. Oh, I'll well, drive. Okay, yeah, you're not, you're not sitting. Yeah, in the no, I was driving. Were, okay, okay. Not a great driving food. <laughs> no, I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I managed, but it's a tough one. I. It is what you think it is. Yep. <laughs> it is a disc shaped, <laughs> sort of flattened out, but still pretty thick <laughs> piece of fried chicken. Terrific. With pizza sauce. Okay. And the the one place the ad lies to you is the amount of cheese is pathetic. Is it? Oh, it's, like that. it's like a good pinch of skull. <laughs> like, oh, jeez. Come on. <laughs> there are, you could count the shreds of oh, mozzarella my. on that thing. That's heartbreaking. And then like two pepperonis oh, laying on no. top, which fall off immediately because they're not like cooked into, into the it. Yeah, yeah, they're not integrated well at all. They're oh. just setting atop them like hats. Why would KFC do this to us? And then like... 
it tastes what it tastes like what you think it tastes like. Yeah. Like think of chicken. Okay. Yeah. Now yeah. think of pizza sauce. Yeah. Tastes yeah. like those things. Yeah. <laughs> like I wouldn't buy one again. That was gonna be my next question. Yeah, was, I no. Well, you know what though? You ventured, you, yeah. you discovered something, yeah. you learned I, something about yourself. I said I would, so I did. You take that over a double down? No. Okay. I would take the double down. Both hard to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Both of them are still, hey, you want to eat fried chicken with your hands? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, not really, but okay. okay. Yes, I will. And ne- neither are probably ideal driving foods. No. I think what I know of a double down, I'd probably go, go double down. Yeah. I mean, it's it's two chicken breasts with bacon and cheese and sauce in the middle. Yeah. Oh, the sauce. I bet the sauce is good. <laughs> the look on your double, face double down sauce oh. you can't use that voice laying oh. in a motel bed <laughs> sorry a hotel bed yeah. i shouldn't i shouldn't disrespect this super eight so to get into, i should get under the covers to get into character <laughs> pull the pull the blankets up to my chin wait what character <laughs> me in a hotel room <laughs> <laughs> no, that would involve having the TV on. That would make for some bad audio on a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, basic cable. Yay, <laughs> Sports what's Center. A, what's on USA? Oh, boy, an episode of Monk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'll catch up. <laughs> <laughs> Any day now, me and Tony Shalhoub are going to be pals. <laughs> I've never once seen Monk. Moms love Monk. It's a mom show. Is that a mom show? And that's not even, that's not a, an insult. It's a show. Yeah, that's for mom. sure. That's who it's aimed it's, at. Yeah. It's a mystery type show okay. with like yeah. police procedural, mm-hmm. but it's all fun. And there's no like headless prostitutes. Sure. It's like, like, oh my God, how, why are there so many hands in the storage locker? Like, <laughs> there's nothing like that. Like, How is there so much <laughs> semen in this body? <laughs> Is that all human? Also something that could be shouted at the back of a porn shop. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh I, that was too far. Yeah, Sorry. I, I have a friend that worked that worked in a Wild West porn shop, one of the last oh, ones in Fargo. Oh, boy. Yeah, and that, too, it still exists. It was the one off the interstate, strike one, <laughs> next to an Arby's. <laughs> That's such an That's, amazing... Now yeah. we're back at zero, because yeah. that goes in the pros <laughs> column. Get yourself some roast beef and your Terminator butt plug. <laughs> they're, they both... You can order a big beef and cheddar at either of them, but they're very different products. <laughs> I wonder if you order butt plugs like you order the classic roast beef. It's a single <laughs> double or half pound. Or half pound. <laughs> Cox's eyebrow. Yeah, are you sure mm, half pound? <laughs> you, are you sure? <laughs> I heard you struggling with that single in the parking lot last summer. <laughs> I've been getting my reps in. <laughs> in the parking lot. Holy moly. Whew. I've never known anyone that's worked at one of those. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Boy, I bet if there was a camera in the parking lot, which the things they would Thank capture, Christ there wasn't. Think of the things. <laughs> People open air meth smoking and dealing because that's what she talked about. There was a, a meth head gay prostitute that's like, you just, he's like, well, like they get mad at him like, hey, you can't smoke meth in the parking lot. Well, you get mad at me when I go inside. Yeah, because you're trying to turn tricks. Oh, you boy. can't whore or smoke meth here. <laughs> and he was just like, like indignant. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean I can't smoke hard drugs or whore out my bottom? What kind of sex shop is this? How? I kind of love that he was so insulted. Yeah. How many men just crying in their car? Oh, Because they have always been gay yeah. and they do not like the direction their life is taking because they're married with four kids. Yeah. They've never been themselves a yeah. day in their life. <laughs> oh, this got sad. Yeah. <laughs> because that for sure fucking oh, happens. I bet that's why those places like existed way more than they do now. Because mm-hmm. gay sex was way more illicit back mm-hmm. then, you know? Yep. You had to just fucking jump in a porn shop telephone booth with an anonymous <laughs> man. <laughs> Holy shit. That's insane. <laughs> You guys changed into your Superman costumes? Kinda. <laughs> you get home, you have his shoes on. Oh, damn it. Not again. 
<laughs> Charlotte's going to have so many questions yeah. about these shoes. <laughs> New shoes, hon? <laughs> you better be. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> well, that's terrific. Uh, what'd you do with the old ones? <laughs> Do- donated them. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows where they could be? <laughs> <laughs> Gave them to someone in need. <laughs> we were all in need. <laughs> <laughs> and unironically, <laughs> I think I've brought this up on the podcast. My entire adolescence, there was an advertisement in the classifieds, Help Wanted, Janitor. Oh, you know? no. Like, that seems like something out of a movie. But yeah. You know, that ad ran for my entire teen life. It was always in need of a janitor at the sex shop. Porn shop janitor sounds like an adult swim sketch. Yeah, right? Yeah. It totally <laughs> think. Jeez, I bet you gotta forget everything you know about being a janitor. <laughs> like, I bet you gotta forget everything you know every time you leave work. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a mind wipe thing. <laughs> you, you, got, a, you got the men in black just, thing. Like a, you the Fring. men in black myself yeah. after every shift. <laughs> What could that pay? You'd think you'd have to pay someone a lot. <laughs> right? Yeah. And I'm sure that you don't, it's not a lot of hours, but the work is not good. <laughs> oh, why, why didn't Mike Rowe do that on his show? <laughs> yeah, no shit. That goddamn coward. <laughs> he's, he's in a, in a cranking booth with a paint scraper peeling the glass. <laughs> it's coming off in sheets like Jesus. cheap window tint. Yeah. <laughs> Got a jug of white vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> All with that voice of his yeah. narrating. <laughs> Just causing it to curdle. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, there's carpet in here. <laughs> yeah. The way, it, the way it was shining, <laughs> figured it was linoleum. Doesn't seem like a good choice. But <laughs> they built these in the 70s before laminates. So. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Not good. <laughs> no, I shudder to think what that job would entail. Yeah. Yowza. <laughs> I live in a big city. There's got to be some sleazy ass sex shops. Well, you live in Minneapolis that has the big monster one. That probably probably seems a little too. That's probably not sleazy. Yeah, that's probably a little more fun. I wonder where the true denizens of sadness hang out. Yeah, what's the dingiest one? Yeah, oof. I bet it's a bummer. (laughs) I bet so. No lights work. Holy (laughs) shit! (laughs) Walking into a black warehouse. (laughs) <laughs> Looks like where they hide the Ark of the Covenant. Yeah, yeah you got to walk in a ways because they can only afford to rent the back corner. Yeah, <laughs> walking past all these nondescript wooden crates. A couple trouble lights swinging. <laughs> <laughs> well, that must be it. <laughs> uh, we poked our head into that one in Aberdeen. That was yeah. like completely non... Of the, it was kind of characterless mm-hmm. yeah. like okay like and was like so much of the real estate was taken up by like weed shit i feel like the weed is the passion project there yeah the head shop aspect and the dancing butt plugs were just to help pay the rent yeah like, yeah couldn't do it with just the bongs that was where we found else. that fucking 20 inch long butt plug like oh, who's Jesus. this for that can't be good for you. Why even bother be fledged at the bottom? Who's hitting it? I have a rough idea of how the human digestive system works. (laughs) There's curves. There's no 20 inch straightaway. Nope, there's no, not a lot of straight lines. Your insides are not baby park. It's fucking (laughs) rainbow road. (laughs) You you gotta be ready. I will tell you this. Do not with the 20 inch bubble. Don't go 150 cc's. You got to go 50. You got to go slow. Do that Bowser takeoff. Yep. Not a lot of drifting. You're yeah. doing, you're coasting around them corners. God, you buy someone's old shop and you see that thing fucking glistening in a bench vice. <laughs> Huh. Huh. One little footstool right next to it. <laughs> this fella got adventures, didn't he? <laughs> Just two footprints in the in the dust on the <laughs> bare concrete floor. <laughs> Good God. And handprints in front of him. <laughs> Flexible devil. I suppose you gotta be. <laughs> no, has a 
a sawzall in the bench vice with a 20 inch butt plug oh, hooked no. to the sawzall. Hooked to the sawzall. <laughs> Well, here's where he died. <laughs> <laughs> this would explain all the blood. Yeah. He went out doing what he loved. <laughs> <laughs> Getting eviscerated by a $40 sex toy. <laughs> he just kept trying to find the bottom of his bottom. <laughs> <laughs> he got there. I think he did at the end. <laughs> Jesus Christ hitting the back of his teeth <laughs> God damn it Boy they should keep an eye on who buys those things <laughs> I am not comfortable with those being out there in the world <laughs> We're gonna have gun control We should have butt plug Look like control. a goddamn cop's billy club <laughs> yeah. You can fend off a bugger with that butt plug 100% yeah. <laughs> Jeepers <laughs> It looked like like the Japanese or German grenades in World War II. Yes, the like stick the, grenades. The yep. stick that you threw. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if they would only have known. <laughs> 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 you think you can put this up your ass? What the fuck? Did you just say? I forget about it. I don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm going to throw it at those Americans. <laughs> forget I said anything. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> All these years later, he's the king of his empire, yeah. <laughs> selling the boss man to <laughs> desperate folks <laughs> with hungry bottoms. Oh, boy. <laughs> Someone buys more than one. <laughs> What's happening when you live? <laughs> Are you practicing your escrima sticks like Nightwing? <laughs> I was thinking of the Iron Sheik with his Arabian club. Oh, sure. Yep, over his head. Yep. <laughs> you look across your apartment balcony, there's a dude in his underwear swinging two 20 inch butt plugs <laughs> over his head, just whistling a tune. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta stay ready. Ready, ready for, for what? <laughs> You look over another, there's another neighbor out on his balcony watching. <laughs> look, trying to look close. I think those are butt plugs. He's really got a humming. <laughs> <laughs> they make a sound going through the air. He's yeah. like, take flight pretty soon. <laughs> Clearly very well practiced at that. <laughs> I mean, he's out here every day. <laughs> Shoulders are looking good, too. <laughs> he he can like put on like a like a display like guys that are good with nunchucks can. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm gonna staple some handles to these naftonfas. <laughs> <laughs> and run it around your HOA <laughs> dressed up like Nightwing swinging those things over his head. <laughs> Not the vigilante we needed. <laughs> Stop where you are, penguin. Stop calling me that. Yeah, we're gonna get. We're, you're gonna come up at the next HOA meeting for sure. We can't have this. <laughs> Deborah's gonna insist that we not have any flamingos on people's yards, and I'm gonna bring you up. Please don't. <laughs> I retreated to the shadows. You live in Unit 138. <laughs> you don't have a secret identity, Dennis. You want to talk bathroom troubles? Usually it's because it's good. Usually I'm the one telling a traumatic bathroom story. It's nice that the... <laughs> it's nice that the shoe's on the other foot, is it? The shoe's on the other bottom. <laughs> A lot of butt talk in this yeah, one. Well, man, it's the life we lead. We were at we were at that restaurant earlier. Nice little diner. Yep. Eating breakfast food. I had pancakes. Mm -hmm. Love pancakes. Um, and like I, I so I kind of needed to shit last night. <laughs> and I judged the motel toilet as being unworthy. <laughs> like, nope, there's no way. This is this is a clogging toilet is what this is. I know a clogging toilet when I see one. Also, like, in there, you, you couldn't raise your elbows. Yeah. That toilet was crammed in the corner so hard. You're going to have to go through the five hole. Though. And I, I, the five hole's a tough one yeah. for somebody our size. Yeah. So... 
I was like, well, we're going to go eat and I'm shit at this restaurant. We ate and sat our own bullshit in a while. And I told you, I was like, I oh, don't fucking I don't hit this toilet real quick. Yeah. I'll, I'll see you there. And I go in there. Nathan, I have never in my life seen a toilet so high off the ground. <laughs> Holy fuck. It was like I was trying to sit on a kitchen table. Terrific. It was like I was trying to sit on that desk or that mini fridge over there. I like. I was like, "Holy shit!" Looking at it, and one, it's one of those. It's just to the wall. There's no base, you know. Okay. Yep. And I was thinking, I was like, "What the fuck?" I think this is a this is an establishment that mostly caters to an elderly yep. clientele, mm-hmm. and so that's who they're building. That's who they put new toilets yep. in for. I fucking got on that thing. My feet were kicking like a kid on the Tonight Show. (laughs) I was like, what is happening right now? And I didn't like how that felt. So I like scooted ahead and pointed my toes like just so my toes would touch. And I was like, my body was just like, no, this is not how we shit. Because I'm like standing up. Like I look like I'm sitting on a horse, (laughs) like fully upright, legs down. You should have like tried side saddle, see if that's any better. <laughs> or try face in the yeah, toilet, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Forearms I, on the tank. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> I sat in there for like five minutes before being like, no, I can't. Yeah. I can't do this. I worked in a place that had a toilet like that, and I got used to it. Now, don't really? mind it at all. Now, but there is a learning curve. <laughs> Your body rejects it. <laughs> it did. Because yeah, like just... Picture being fully clothed, standing upright, and taking a shit. Yeah, your body mean, won't let you do no, it. No, your you body know? won't let you shit standing you up. Try shit in the shit yourself in the line at the <laughs> bank. You know, like just <laughs> standing there to talk to the teller. Unless you're sick, you're not gonna be able to do it. You know, like. But I tell you what, I'd rather sit tall than sit small. I can't the low boys. I can't do a low boy. I would rather do a low oh, boy. I can't that. That place we stayed at, that above that bar in Williston, yeah, that that's toilet a real is low boy. four inches off the ground. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I no. ain't got the quads <laughs> to sit on a toilet like that. Knees way up. I have the when I get off that toilet, it's humiliating. <laughs> it was I'm like just, it was like within in a movie, like a grown adult has to sit in a kindergartner's yeah, chair right, for PTA. Yeah. Oh, that one too. Yeah, you got no wing room, so your arms are tucked to your sides. Yeah, you, know? you kind of like gotta like yeah. fall back, and now you're just in in this coffin. Yeah, crawling off that toilet like a fucking cow, <laughs> all fours. <laughs> Go hose your ass off in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit yep. sitting on a tall boy though that is I haven't done that in a while but I now think about it I had a job where like what it was it was a normal toilet with a like an 8 inch thick seat that didn't mm, flip sure. up or down it was just for shitting <laughs> what I think it was it was a an purely office, shitting toilet it was an office I worked in and it was kind of an off to the side bathroom mm-hmm. and I think it was must have been a handicapped person that worked sure. there at one point and I, I, I was maintenance. I was just doing rounds. Oh, mwah, chef's kiss for taking a shit, man. <laughs> nice and cool. No one bothered you. Yeah, out of the I'd way. Hold, I'd hold one in all weekend. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> just demolish that thing on a Monday. <laughs> Getting conned and sending about my friend's toilet. Uh, I think I'll wait. <laughs> I have plans. Yeah. I'm sure you like to shit here. That's good for you. <laughs> I'm shitting in an executive model now. Oh, my God. I mean, I shit only in the Fleetwood line. <laughs> like, I went into that bathroom, and I, it was it was perfect. Like, huge bathroom, but a one-seater lock on the door. Like, oh, man, beautiful. Yeah. Mwah, look at this. And, like, I squared up to that toilet. And, like, the distance, the, the, the extremely short length of time it took from, like, starting movement to, oops, I guess we're on the seat already, oh. was so short. That's it, so was, good. it was so terrifying. <laughs> Like beds that are weirdly high off the ground. Exactly. <laughs> like, wait, that shouldn't be this high. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I'm standing. This is. 
I need to carry a string with a washer at one end that I can hang from a toilet seat. And if that washer hits the ground, I won't shit there. <laughs> you need a little taller toilet. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, yeah, too low is no good either, but yeah. too tall. Was, this was the first time that's ever happened. I was scared. <laughs> too big of a seat would be weird, too. <laughs> like, brace yourself. <laughs> too small of a seat is a bummer. Yeah, I've had Been that. there. Yeah. I'd maybe almost rather have. The, I mean, I've never had a too big of a toilet. Like uh, I don't know that that exists. Yeah. But that be shitting like a four year old, like, <laughs> just the risk of falling in. <laughs> it's a weird thing when you're a little kid. I never thought of that. Like a toilet falling in. Yeah. Like, What'd you fall in? Is yeah. like a joke when yeah. you've been in the bathroom for too long. Yeah. When, but when you're <laughs> when you're fucking three foot tall and forty pounds, <laughs> you can have that can happen. <laughs> I do recall my mom told me I I wanted nothing to do with the uh, with a what training toilet. I went right to the fucking right to the big boy toilet. Yeah, went right to the majors. <laughs> Did, <laughs> didn't spend any time in Triple A. You're like LeBron, just skip yeah. college straight to the pros out of high school. Yeah, I think she said I grumbled because like I was I was too low to the ground. I've never liked a low. I was too tall as a little kid, so I just would just hop up on the regular toilet. <laughs> <laughs> The fact that there are people right now within a mile of us somewhere, just by pure odds, training another human being how to shit is so amazing. (laughs) God, that's like hollering at someone because they're not shitting in the... No, you shit in the toilet. It's so weird. Not in the tub. That like your kids are at an age that they can talk to you. They can have a conversation with you before they can shit in the toilet. (laughs) Like they, I don't want to shit in the toilet. Well, you do <laughs> shit in the toilet. That's insane to me. Feels like you should be able to be potty trained at like six weeks. Like, <laughs> like they can't get out there, but you got to hold them up there. They'll just know to shit. <laughs> nope. Three years into that. <laughs> wonder if anyone's ever tried that scientific study. What's the youngest we can yeah. train them to do this? <laughs> They're not sleeping through the night, but they can shit yeah. in the toilet. <laughs> Jesus, that's wild. Hey, you're going to have to start shitting in the toilet. (laughs) No. (laughs) Never. Never. (laughs) Maybe we hang out too much. (laughs) To keep shitting my pants. (laughs) (laughs) So there's children can have a favorite cartoon. They're that smart. I like this cartoon. I like the talking cat. And just still shit their pants willingly. Like... God, maybe they're on the sun. Maybe that's where it's at. No, maybe no. Maybe we give up something when we start shitting in the toilet. <laughs> so when we first start doing what other people want. That's lost youth. That's yeah. where it starts. <laughs> that's where the magic starts Holy to shit. stop. There needs to be a group of people that are upset that they were potty trained. <laughs> oh, brother, I bet that's yeah. out there. <laughs> Ever since then, I've just never felt like I have my own agency. I always feel like... <laughs> Everyone else is, makes decisions for me, and I'm just a spectator to my own life. If you're a, if you're a psychiatrist and your new client comes in, lays on the couch, well, doctor, I think it all started at potty trading. Holy I fun. bet you just roll your fucking yeah. eyes like, fuck <laughs> me. Not another one. <laughs> Maybe you've heard it enough times that you're just out of the holster. Yeah. No, it didn't. No. No. <laughs> no. Nope. Try again. <laughs> er, wrong. <laughs> I bet there's overlap between that group and the I'm mad I got circumcised group. I was thinking yeah, the same a thing. A lot of the same people I met at those meetings. I didn't have a choice. Shut yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> no one wants you to talk about your horn. Yeah, no one not. wants this. I, I, I Child horn talk, never a good topic. Oh, for a pop- boy. What percentage of... Kids in the school system in America today are cut. You think? I have, n- I have no idea. Yeah, like I can't even guess. I did the most. You th- I bet that number shrinks pretty. I bet it. I bet it's every year. Yeah. Like, do you have to ask for it? Like my mom said, like she's like, hey, well, th- should we just take care of this now? I was like, okay, whatever. If that's what you guys normally do, you know? <laughs> did like, we sign up for that package? Yeah. Like wonder, options on a car? Yeah. I wonder now if you got to like ask for it like because yeah back then they just offered it doesn't come standard now it's an option like heated seats (laughs) landau roof (laughs) (laughs) with the way medical prices are out of control i bet it costs eight hundred dollars now the medical price but dads are youtubing it (laughs) 
They have a 10 steps. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I've got a Leatherman and a can do attitude. Oh, fuck. <laughs> a 10 steps. It's so. Terrible. Well, God, don't they like if you if if you're Jewish and they have the ceremony? That's just a rabbi cutting the shit off. That's just dick. a guy. He that ain't a doctor, just a dude. That is done in a living room. Madness. Holy fuck, that's insane. We drink coffee here. Yeah, <laughs> and we trim our boys' horns. <laughs> fuck, that's nuts. That's just done in some. No, those kitchen. are under there. Yeah. <laughs> It wasn't a good joke, but I jumped on it. It was there. Oh, fuck. I can't shake that. <laughs> but I have to hit pause for a second. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, let's move the Yankee candle out of yeah. the way on this coffee table. Hey, I'm, I'm glad I was able to help you talk about your marriage troubles, but I, I got to go trim a kid's dick. <laughs> Where's my dick trimming scissors? <laughs> Wipes him off on his pant leg. These are just cuticle scissors. <laughs> Holy shit. This is CVS on the side. <laughs> it's those like crooked ones that you used to cut gauze yeah. off. <laughs> Ugh. Or the fancy fabric ones that make a zigzag. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's fun. That's, <laughs> That's for the kids. Yeah. <laughs> Give yourself a couple little flippers. It looks like a crown. <laughs> crowns are fun. Kids love crowns. Kids love crowns. Oh, oh man. Like the land make believe king. <laughs> Yowza. <laughs> Dick looks like Jughead. <laughs> oh, my. What's your, what's your hospital's dick trimming policy? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, we've asked you to stop calling it that. <laughs> and please stop calling in general. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> maybe that technology's improved. Maybe, yep. maybe you stick it in a machine. That's not good oh, either, boy. actually. Yep. Now Jeez, that I don't like about... that either. <laughs> boy. <laughs> not good. <laughs> uh, yikes. <laughs> Wouldn't want to clean that machine. It's like an electric pencil <laughs> sharpener. <laughs> no, it's clogged. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> like we're throwing away a lot of stem cells here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame they won't let us do anything with them. <laughs> Oof, <duh. laughs> stem cells still a hot topic? I wonder. Are the uh, is the right still all wound up about stem cells? You don't hear about it like you used to. They were wound up during COVID because the the vaccine I think was made with some kind of uh, oh, if not stem cells directly, like some kind of adjacent science. Yeah, I know stem cells like in other countries are they're way ahead of us because they oh under, yeah they totally don't have any hangups with it yeah yeah. Like, because when it's like, you hear people like, oh, don't get your knee replaced. Go to Panama mm -hmm. and have them shoot stem cells into your knee. You'll be tap dancing in no time. Yeah, like, Hulk Hogan would be in a wheelchair if he wasn't going to fucking Cuba every other day or oh, whatever no to get all juiced up. For his back yeah, or something? Yeah, no yeah. kidding. Yeah, he swears by it. I think right. Kevin Nash was in on that, too. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. So our, fr our friends in wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> ahead, of the, ahead of the curve. Look at the least are trying something different than the old, like, just eat pills. Yep, just take enough pills. <laughs> to get through each day. <laughs> Did a doctor give you these? Well, no. Yeah. His nickname's Doc. <laughs> <laughs> Does that count? He's a doctor the way Dr. Pepper is a doctor. <laughs> He's got a Class B trucking license. <laughs> Does that help? He's a tradesman. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Man, maybe that's like, get me on a stem cell regimen. Maybe turn this ship around. Yeah, is that what it's going to take? <laughs> just, just like, well, we're, what's the trouble area? I pretty much fucking. <laughs> Pick yeah. one. Yeah. Dealer's choice. Yeah. <laughs> just whatever you feel is something you can do. <laughs> <laughs> you tell you what, you just fill a syringe full and throw it at me from yeah. across the room. <laughs> It's like how the Archies plan their tour. Spin the globe, stick your finger down. <laughs> I went uh, cereal shopping. I bought oh. cereal, and I let the spirit guide me. Okay. No plan. Just here we go. Okay. I came away 
with and I know I know this is gonna pop you. I bought a box of Raisin Bran Crunch. There we go. Which we'll come back to. Okay. A box of frosted mini wheats. Interesting. Like those. Okay. Always have liked those. And a box of plain crispix. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Not going to use that as a base for some puppy chow? Nope. Just, just going to eat that like Christmas. a goat. Just <laughs> no milk. Like munching on straw. Just spread it in the yard. <laughs> Crispix has an earned bowl status. <laughs> That's a ground cereal. <laughs> and man, I got to say, Crispix are good, but boy, there ain't much to them. Well, I was just going to say, I think I good. bet I could eat a box of Crispix in a sitting. <laughs> <laughs> that needs to be your road snack. Just consume a whole box of Christmas. <laughs> no sh- milk, dry. Shit out a tiny wicker chair. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look, no. <laughs> they're they're kind of the Triscuits of cereal. Yeah, totally is. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, All the. So I've been sitting in my house eating Crispix this week. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Razor Brand Crunch right on the shelf. They taste good, though. Yeah. Oh, boy. It's been a minute since I've had Crispix. I also... Oh, boy. Crispix never been said. <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever clapped when yeah. they saw Crispix in the pantry. Yeah, Crispix. Yeah. I, bet, I bet they never once had a commercial with a rapping mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit I also I also ate that Raisin Bran Crunch Nathan and I gotta say I thought that Raisin Bran Crunch the way I remembered maybe I've never had Raisin Bran Crunch but the way I had it in my head is like oh we just took some of the little clusters from Honey Bunch's oats that fell on the floor we swept those up yep. and we put them in a box of Raisin Bran yep. oh it's different Holy moly, yeah. is it different. <laughs> I had just come off of eating an entire box of Crispix. <laughs> and I was like, okay, Raisin Bran Crunch next. Poured it in the bowl. I took that first spoonful. It is so shockingly sweet. Yeah. Those flakes are half an inch thick because they have so much hardened <laughs> syrup Sugar on water. them. Yeah. Holy fuck. I like... It was like shocking. I was taken aback because I was expecting raisin bread yeah. with clusters in it. Fun, yeah. I fucking crunch into that first bite. I was like, oh fuck. This is like this is sweeter than any of the Flintstone cereals. God damn it. And it, good, but yep, holy shit, not good. what I was expecting. Yep. Oh, it's a dessert cereal. It's like if someone handed you a w- bottle and said that it's water and it was Sprite, you'd be shocked. <laughs> Fuck me. Well, I'm glad you had your razor bread crunch cherry. Basin. It's good though. It's no crispix, but it's good. <laughs> it's very good. That, that's very high on the list of my favorite cereals. I would rather have raisin bread. No shit. That's easily, like yeah. not even close. That's hot take alert. I'm I have settled into my dad's cereal phase. Yeah, you know? Good for you. You know what? It comes for us all. I've been you know bobbing and weaving to avoid that, but it's gonna catch me someday. Yeah, someday you also will be like Maybe Crispix. Yeah. I mean, I already like Honey Bunches Oats, and that's kind of an adult cereal. Yeah, that's kind of a, yeah. There that's no, a mom cereal. There ain't no toy at the bottom of that. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a maze on yeah. the box. <laughs> they haven't done the toys There's in a while. There's just facts about your heart. Yeah. Like some kid ate a whistle and died, so they can't put toys in Yeah, no, the uh, Is there like a, do you ever clip UPC symbols to send in for a oh, pen? I wonder. Yeah, God, I remember doing that a couple times as a kid. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. Totally. Know, like, like I got a Star Wars toy with that. Like I hey. for sure had a Star. I for sure had a, a Star Wars pen. It was Darth Maul. I had a Darth Maul pen. Oh, really? And I had that for <laughs> years. I was like writing checks for my auto insurance no with my Darth shit. Maul pen. I had that thing a long time. <laughs> It was my way of having balance. Like, okay, I'm paying for insurance on my vehicle, but I'm doing it with my Star Wars pen. Da da, that's not the song. Star Wars. <laughs> All of this being done in the office. <laughs> 
Well, thanks for sticking with State Farm. Holy moly. <laughs> You're fucking Darth Maul fucking f- shadow boxing with the, <laughs> the magic sticks or whatever his thing was called. <laughs> <laughs> ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba, ba, ba. He usually tires out in about half an hour. Look out, Guyan! <laughs> Obi Wan, no. <laughs> you're in there. You're in their office bathroom. <laughs> you need to go to the bathroom. Go to the gas station. This is gonna take a little while. He said he tried, but the toilet's too tall. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I use my Jedi powers to conquer this toilet. <laughs> Didn't work. Whom, whom, making the lightsaber sounds. <laughs> Holy moly. We're working ahead a little here. Yeah. Uh, you got it. Tonight is night one of WrestleMania as mm-hmm. we're recording. Mm-hmm. This doesn't come out for a couple of weeks yet. Um, so happy WrestleMania to all who celebrate. <laughs> I can't believe you booked a show on WrestleMania weekend. Yeah, I can't. And they're selling tickets, apparently. I can't believe anybody's going to be there. It's, it's WrestleMania. Ma- Marshall, Minnesota does not believe in the power of power slams. Mm, I don't love it. Nope. <laughs> It's a, you can watch all that shit later on. I'm going to. Uh, I have to avoid the internet all night tonight. <laughs> and all day tomorrow. <laughs> what a hard life. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> we have a living grandfather, correct? Two of them. You yeah. should call them and complain <laughs> about how hard it is. And they avoid wrestling spoilers on the internet. Holy shit. <laughs> So hard, Gampy. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like both of them would be repulsed by Gampy. There's so many people on my phone talking about wrestling. And I just want to not have it spoiled. <laughs> that is the kind of thing that my father would really look down upon is like, being a grown man and complaining about movie spoilers. Uh Uh-huh. Boy, in his head, (laughs) you're 40 years old, you're pouting about a movie ending being revealed. (laughs) Jesus, I could smoke angel dust and he'd be less disappointed. (laughs) Holy, if I never thought of that, God, that would fucking make him sad. (laughs) Jesus Christ, Some men his age are grandparents. (laughs) He's pissed that someone talked about the ending of the Daredevil TV show. (laughs) This is what he's worried about? (laughs) Oh, boy. (laughs) Holy moly. (laughs) I can't think if there's a movie that, like, if the ending was revealed, I'd be pissed. I mean, I don't want to know the ending. I don't want to in line, but it's like, whatever. It's I would like, for sure be like, ah, man. Yeah, it happened oh, to me well. once. Yeah. In line to buy tickets for the six cents. Oh, that's and a, so, that's a that tough is one. That is yep. fucking like, oh, God damn it. Like, but it's like, whatever. What are you going to do? You yeah. can't fix it. Yeah, right. You know? <laughs> that is a literal cat out of the bag moment. Yep. Like, it's, all, it's all over now, but, but whatever. Enjoy the ride. So, but also, if you could... Let's let well, this is pointless. This is past the fact. <laughs> I right now am going to send out positive vibes in the world that the internet is able to avoid you. Okay, thank you. Tonight I will sit and dwell upon that. And all I have to do is not look at my phone. It's up to me. It's, it's not up yeah, to the universe. It's hard not to look at your phone. <laughs> I want to look at TikTok. <laughs> I like my videos. Oh. <laughs> oh no! You pick up your phone to check the time. There's three wrestling videos playing at once. Oh no! How does this happen? <laughs> 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 oh shit Hulk Hogan murdered Ric Flair what what <laughs> that would be one I didn't see coming yeah, well, I guess I better watch <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't watching it live and now it's edited out <laughs> oh shit you got big predictions are you gonna watch tomorrow no. I'm gonna watch uh, tonight I'm not a big enough fan that I gotta, gotta get both nights in if I get to see the world championship big belt match tomorrow night, that's all that matters. Oh, okay. I don't need all really? the Really? Yeah, fucking wrestling shit's too long. It's become auto racing. I agree. 
But I want to see it all. I want to see the pre-show matches. I want to see all the vignettes. I want to see the musical performances. I want to see it all. See, I'm, I'm part of I I give a shit enough. This this will be the first WrestleMania I bet I've watched in four years. No, no, that's shit. not true. I watched the COVID one. Was it oh, the the empty arena? Yeah, I watched that one. Yeah, that was a weird one. That was very fucking weird. That might be the last one I've watched. That's where this two night shit started. Mm-hmm. Was that you pointed year. that out to me once? Yeah, that that's just because what else? The world is screaming for content, and we shall give it to them. Well, and Vince's philosophy is if you're going to take something away, you have to give them something better. Oh, interesting. He's always said that's like a mantra of his. Interesting. Like if so-and-so is injured and can't be in the match, you have to give them someone better than that person. Huh. I'd like to see examples of that in play. Right. Yeah, because I'm sure you think hey, if you're a wrestling nerd, you can, oh, yeah, there was what's a skill. So they were, they brought this guy back out of nowhere and no one saw it coming, mm-hmm. you know, like, okay. I bet John Cena has a, f- a separate cell phone for that phone call. Probably. Like, he has <laughs> just it's Vince's yeah. number is the only yeah. one in there. This or is, whoever the boss is now. This is John Cena's. You're going to write me a check for $5 million phone, John Cena <laughs> speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Your name better be Vince fucking McMahon. <laughs> well, you don't want him calling you now. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Which means you always didn't want yeah, him right calling there. you. <laughs> Who makes that phone call now? Triple H? I would assume. That's wild. He's really in charge. Now. H seems to be running shit. Huh. How about Shane? He around anymore? He may be gone. He's around, but I don't know that he works there. Hmm. Like, he was at the Hall of Fame last okay. night. Okay. You know, he's not, like, it's the, it's not like it was for a long time where he's, like, on non-speaking terms yep. and, and far away from the company. Yeah, like, maybe he just doesn't have a hand in creative. Cor- right, yeah, he for fucking, sure doesn't. Yeah, working in accounting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he doesn't work there, period. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, he stepped away for a good chunk of the aughts. He a long was time, yeah. yeah. It was a big deal when he came back. Yeah. It's so wild to me that he actually got into wrestling. Because mm-hmm. I remember that, like, that's a, when I got back in, it was like, wait, people give a shit about Shane McMahon? Hell this yeah, they do. Suck. And, and he did book wild shoot shit. Shoot him out of a fucking cannon. Yep. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 this is a fucking unrealized daddy issues here mm-hmm. <laughs> like, or very realized yeah, we that's are true we are seeing it yeah. very clearly <laughs> on the page <laughs> good point big predictions god i i don't i don't know enough about it uh, i i kind of don't either yeah it's like i just hope it's good boy that's mm-hmm. a that's a hard-hitting answer yeah, i hope both work. teams have fun I hope. <laughs> 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 I hope I enjoy it. Jesus, that's a selfish answer. Holy moly. I sure hope it's something I like. Boy, you're really taking the hard lines. Yeah, right. The hottest wrestling takes. This is the time to get into sports gambling. You should download DraftKings, yeah. bet $40,000 on WrestleMania matches. Here we go. This is it. <laughs> Cash out that dumb 401k. Am I selling my house? Make some real money. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit <laughs> so hopefully everyone enjoyed wrestlemania two yeah, weeks I ago hope, yeah I hope when you're, you're hearing this basking in the glow as you listen to this the afterglow of wrestlemania yeah, two weeks worth of wrestling afterglow wrestlemania pillow talk yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the saddest men the sweatiest <laughs> men <laughs> lying on mattresses that certainly don't have a fitted sheet on them <laughs> you go to a local <laughs> indie wrestling show, what percentage of those dudes are sleeping on a bare mattress Ooh, or a couch? Boy, is it under seventy percent? Holy shit! I was gonna give him a little credit and say oh, thirty-five. God, I don't think so. I could be wrong. I am. Yeah, maybe fifty-fifty. You, you, you also judge the local indie wrestling fan <laughs> more harshly than I do. You have rallied against them several times on this podcast. And God bless them. I love them, but <laughs> man, anytime I walk out of a place feeling good about myself physically, it's trouble. <sighs> that trouble brewing in there. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you're not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Big lump country. Yeah. Them shows. Oof. 
speaking of big lumps, I think I might be round two for a trip to the bathroom. Here. Oh boy, <laughs> I'm I'm begging you're for gonna, round yeah, one. Yeah. We can wrap this up. I'm gonna, you, you're gonna have some kind of medical <laughs> issue. I'm gonna go grit my teeth and cry. <laughs> you're not supposed to hold it in that long. <laughs> <laughs> I might need the 20 inch butt plug yeah. to swizzle stick some stuff around the poop stick. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, we will uh, heave ourselves off of these motel beds and, <laughs> and dump and I got to shower and then we got to tell jokes. I got to turn this goddamn air conditioner back on. Yeah. I'm going to die. <laughs> That's the shit talk, man. It's pretty nice in here right now. And if I'm saying that, you're having a medical emergency. You're going into toxic shock, Marlon, like an astronaut. You're just, I haven't shit since last Friday. Wait a minute. Eight days. <laughs> Normally, I only poop on SmackDown days. But I missed yesterday. <laughs> Holy uh, shit. Well, well, I'm going to clear out of here. So. Every, everybody enjoy yourselves. <laughs> We're going to go tell jokes. Bye, everybody.